What's, What's up, up, everybody? Welcome, Welcome back. back. Unchained Melody. Melody. Righteous Brothers. Brothers. I'm accompanied by my beautiful wife, Allie. And sorry that microphone is picking me up. <laughs> We're sitting far apart from each other because my microphone is picking up his sound. So we'll... we'll We're not fighting. <laughs> at least at least not right now. Not today. <laughs> Check back tomorrow. You're funny, babe. Um... Okay, so we'll 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 see what we can do here. So um, I've Unchained Melody. Um, we have we're gonna be listening to Bobby Hatfield seeing this. Um, I remember um, we watched that Elvis movie. Yeah, and uh, he sings like this is like he sings this, and I actually think uh, David Orman. So David, David, you sent us a tip and a donation for us to check out this video. So thank you so much. Uh, David uh, said Elvis Presley did the same song and he did it a six and six weeks after he performed it. So six weeks after the one, like from the video movie we saw, he that passed. was one of the last songs. One of the last songs he performed. So here we're gonna watch the OG perform this. So here we go. Hey, let's let's roll it. Thank you guys for being here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We just like to enjoy good music here. We'll think about the meaning of the song. We'll see where we go, and that's it. Right off the bat, it's like, oh, blocks. Lonely time. Pausing. I'm not a good person. Um, if I were to see this, homie, for the first time ever, I would not have expected that voice to come out of that guy right there. But in this, like, the, that, like, buttoned up look was, that's like, true. a that's thing. What, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's, at some point, they... Opposite. Yeah, for sure. And time goes by mm. so slowly, and time can do so men to wear much suit and ties more often. I agree. Yeah. I actually, would, I would be down there. Still more. I he has like excellent control. Unbelievable. Like loud, control. soft, up, and actually, down. let me sh and I'll and I'll go why. So okay, that note when he hits it, in singing, there's this thing called head voice, right? So you have chest voice and you sing from your head voice. And a lot of people think head voice is falsetto, but they're I, they're a little different. Um, but when someone is a very good singer, um, when they are singing from their head voice, it sounds like they're just belting it out. But actually, it's kind of like, again, they're using head voice. So in um. So frozen, a lot of the songs that Adina Menzel sings, it's she's just killing it with head voice. And but she like knows how to make it loud. So if you see him when he sings that note, his throat is still completely relaxed. So he's just an incredibly like still like nothing's happening. And and you see he it looks like he's focusing on his head. It's unbelievable. Your love. I need your love. God speed your love to me. Such a good romantic song. You and I should dance. Dance. Better than to the sea. To the sea. To the open arms. Again, this is a live performance. Like, it's just it's perfect. Time. 
Why did Elvis do this? Like, who was he thinking about? Did Elvis do that high? He's gonna hit. He's gonna hit the next one. <laughs> what a douchebag! So good. That's so good. It'd be a pretty sad video if all of a sudden he cracked right. <laughs> There's a video I need to show you actually where that does indeed happen. Okay, that is the most perfect vocal performance I have seen. Someone perform live. Yeah, let's pull up the words. Good, good call. The lyrics, whoa, my love, my darling. Okay, no, we won't do that. Um, babe, what, do you, what, what did you like? What did you like? Um, I'll go first. <laughs> that question, are you still mine? I need your love. I need your love. God speed your love to me. So um, if I recall, in, in one of the notes that David sent, he told me, like, apparently a lot of people used to listen to this song uh, when they were going out to war. What war would have been? When was the Vietnam War? <laughs> okay, so in... Vietnam War period, 1955, 1975. What the heck? Is that how long the Vietnam War was? Vietnam War, 1954 to 1975. 20 years? Holy frick. I had no My idea. education was very poor. I never made it to Vietnam. I know nothing. This wasn't a question on the citizenship test. Okay. When I became an American citizen, they didn't but ask like, me this. I know, I know up until about World War, I don't think I had a history class go past World War I, maybe two. I know nothing about 20th century. Em embarrassingly. <laughs> yeah, so this makes sense. This song this was a song that when soldiers were missing their women or women missing their men. Probably not as common that common the Vietnam. Well, they did War. the draft. I know the draft happened. Right. Um yeah, this would be like the song like if you're longing for your for your woman, right? And there is that fear as it comes where of like they, you know, you lose her, right? She finds someone else, whatever that may be. And I feel like this song just expresses that, like just how lonely you feel, how how sad you are. You're hoping she's going to be there. You wish she was there in the moment. Just a, it's a great love song. Seems to be about not to get too sappy. Love sustaining you. Wow, uh, yeah. Now you're getting a little sappy. <laughs> no, but absolutely. No, keep going on that. Expound on that. I don't I think that's all I had to say. But <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Just the I don't know, like okay, so here's I don't know if I this thought's gonna make sense, but I feel like being with the right person you and all those things makes you a better person. To, like with our relationship when I think of like things that I've been able to accomplish and do I don't feel like I would have accomplished if I wasn't married to and like having that kind of what the right word adjective would be but makes you better but it's like explain it probably the best I can is that everyone at home close your eyes real quick <laughs> no I love you. But you know what I mean, I right? Do know what, like, I know exactly what you mean. It's, uh, I think I've told you this, but like almost any, all of my biggest accomplishments in life, like outside of just you and my girls, which are my biggest accomplishment, but like career-wise, things like that, all of the things I needed to develop to, I think, attain those things, didn't happen until we, yeah, until we were married, until you were in my life. Yeah, absolutely. But why, what, what is it? Married and, because I think that that is big problem in our society, society yeah. is that 
like I can't get married. I can't have kids because it's going to hold me back from being me. But in reality, it for some reason helps you to be better. Mm. It like it's shown like people who are married like make more money and like for sure. What is it having love in your life? Love that think, helps you I be think, better. I think it's because you you're in one sense or another your cup is already full. Like you're you have what you need. You have everything you need. So then everything else is more like you treat it as like a game, which I think is the healthiest way to treat like a career, treating it as a game that you're just like, I'm just going to play the results, things like that. Like, that's not what I'm going to worry about. I just want to play the game. Or you could argue the opposite. that there's more of a need. It's not just me. I think when you have children, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So I think with like maybe you... Yeah, I everything else is like why not? I ha, I like my wife already loves like she loves me. But you're right. But then with kids, yeah, it does give you the but I also think um light attracts light. Mm. So you are happy that more good things. Your mic your mic was cutting out there. Talk, oh. talk a little bit more into the mic there again. Say that Hello? again. Hello. Say that again. Yeah. <laughs> um no, I just said I think light attracts light. Like the more um, the more happy you are and fulfilled you are in your life, you just keep getting more and more things added onto that. And the opposite can be true too, you know? For sure. When, yeah. So if you're, like you said, if you're feeling like your cup is full and fulfilled, not necessarily that you don't care about those other things, but you maybe have more energy and you're ready to go and you're feeling. Yeah, so. oh, I can, I hear that. Just, I don't know either. Just spitballing here. Just spe- <laughs> Guys, would love to hear your thoughts. Regardless, beautiful, like uh, that's the most amazing vocal performance I've seen. So, thank you, thank you for hanging out. Thanks for being here, babe. Love you. In true sixties form, that's right. Peace out. Much love, everybody. <laughs>